Hello, this is Sammy Chapman, Business and Science Librarian at Purdue Calumet. In this video, I want to talk about how to access the library's databases. The first thing you'll want to do is go to the Purdue University North Central website. On the website, you'll notice some headings at the top of the page. Underneath Students, there is a link to the library. You'll need to scroll down, click on the library link, and then at the library's home page, you'll notice that in the center of the page, there is a link for databases. Hover over the databases link and select databases A to Z. If you're off campus, you'll be asked to put in your PNC username and password. I'm going to type my username and password in. If you're on campus, you'll go directly to the databases without having to go through the proxy server. Click Submit, and it will pass you on through to the Find Databases page. Once you're at this page, you can select a database by category, such as here you can see the Business and Economics category. Click on that, then go over to the Go button, and it will list the databases that have information sources that are relevant to business and economics. Then you can click on the title of the database to go directly to the database. If you're looking for a specific database and you know the title of that database, then you can click on the letter which corresponds to the first letter of the name of the database. For instance, if I wanted to find Business Source Premier, I could click on B, and I would see all the databases that begin with the letter B, and down here at the bottom is Business Source Premier. You could click on that link and go directly to the database. And there's the Business Source Premier database. The important thing to remember here is that you want to click on the Databases A to Z link and then if you're off campus you'll need to put in your My PNC username and password before you can go to the Find Database page. And here it passed me on through since I had already logged in. Thank you for watching my video on how to access library databases.